How's it going, everybody? Today, I've got a video on the Adhortative. My role is Slick Draw Headseeker. I'll pull over Foundry here so you can see why, what I'm running and why. So TTK-wise, we know it's just barely a 3-burst. But with this season's artifact perk giving you Radiant, you can self-proc a 6-headshot kill. So I've gone with Slick Draw and Headseeker. Slick Draw for the max handling instead of going down to 39. I messed around with this on the Revision Zero not that long ago, and I thought it was quite fun, yet very humbling. However, this was before I started messing around with Osu again. My Osu of choice being Mick Osu, the, FP, the FPS version of it. So I've been playing that a little bit more recently, and Slick Draw, since playing that again, has actually started feeling like more of a benefit than a deficit. Could also be due to the fact that Headseeker makes it to where if I do hit body shots, it'll aim for the head more so, counteracting the perk, and giving more so like a baseline uh, bullet bending experience. But I don't think it's completely like that. But, so there's the roll. We'll go and pull that to the side here. So the rest of the build is fairly simple. Uh, there will be a dim link in the description if you want to do that instead. But two targeting, siphon, two reloaders, three unflinching and a surge. You guys can figure out those aspects and fragments. Running six shot golden gun, just in case we ever get to use it. It felt really good. I've gotten about 300 kills now since creating this specific role with Slick Draw and Headseeker. I paired it with my Warden's Law that I just got. Uh, yesterday during the GM. It feels pretty nice. It makes for a very nice little closer to far range counter option. In case I know that there's a shotgun coming, 50 damage to the head and a quick little two burst like that is probably more is much more consistent for me. And then paired with speed loaders, the reload and handling on this go way up. And the reload on this does go up, along with giving me some AE, which is always nice. But that is all of the synergies between weapons and artifacts and all that stuff. A couple things here at the end. I do have a Discord. Link is down below if you want to come and join up. We did just hit 800 subs, which is awesome. Uh, I started the year with barely over 100, so we're up 700 in four months, which is awesome. Thank you all for that. And then my final thing, what do you guys think of it hortative? Do you guys like it? it what real, ah, English, hard, forgive me. What roles do you guys like to use? Headseeker plus what third column perk or what third column perk paired with fourth column perk? Let me know down below. And with that, I'll put you into the gameplay now. Have a good one. All right, we got Wormhaven. Add hortative paired with Warden's Law. You can expect a video on that one specifically later. Radiant the team. Okay. Good to know. Ah. Unfortunate there. I was hoping my team didn't die at the top there. If they hadn't, maybe I could have survived because then I would have been able to back out. In that instance, jumping up instead of meleeing at him probably would have been the better bet to get out. Shattering bones, so that's a faster rate of fire than mine. And cannon for these ones, pulse for these ones. Drop down. Good. Ah, they had power ammo too. He's a damage perk on his kill clip, most likely. Kill clip, maybe rampage. Going for that potential one burst. Maybe Headseeker with Kill Clip or whatever. 
would have been better trying to get away from that scenario, but it works out okay-ish. Come on, sir. We have a match to play. This isn't Rumble. Be interesting, did my melee hit the, uh, the strand orb? It might- it must have. Cause that's the only other reason that it wouldn't- or it should not hit in that instance. Is that the orb- or that my melee tracked the orb. As it was still in his hands. There we go. Oh, I missed it by one headshot. Reload, watch the left. i screwed here unless my team gets here to help me out. Okay. Nice. Dodge forward into cover again. Teammates get here to help me out. Shoot the orbs, but I do not want any of them to grab that. Nice. Teammates are able to take advantage. I don't have a shotgun, so I can't quite shut him down. But that's okay. Switching between the two weapons there got me what I needed. So I'm fine with that. Go to the left, as I think with the pulse, as long as my shots are on point, I think I have advantage over here versus there. Maybe not. Tangles are deadly little things, even with the nerfs they made to strand. Beautiful. Perfect use of my movement there. They had shotgun shots from the enemy. That team should have been able to take advantage of it there as well. Should have dodged to the right, but my finger was already on the S key with it when I dodged, so ended up just dodging backwards. That was not something I wanted to see or hear, but I think... Depending on location and depending on if they try to fight me, I could either A, take them out, or B, prevent them from going too far with their hyper-powerful supers. I'm concerned. I missed a couple headshots there, not bad. Considering that I hit four of those at least as headshots, it's pretty solid. Because as we all know, slick draw tends to pull them away from the head, so you have to be in point accurate. Which is part of why I like the perk, other than the handling aspect to it. Ok, 
Okay. Rock and Radiant. Hopefully they got access to it. I don't think they did because I dodged backwards instead of forwards. But I dodged backwards to try and avoid getting immediately gunned down. Okay, he's at B. I believe there's probably two there. Okay. Didn't track it perfectly for the headshots, but I did track it fairly nice overall. Grab the orb and turn around. No? Do I? I think we wait here for now. Back. My teammates should have the guy from behind me covered. There we go. I will jump up here. Switch the hand cannon. Because I think that will allow me a better option there. Turn around. Oh, I was out of ammo. No! That was sick. That would have worked too. Alright, so now it's time to swap to the other spawn. Because now, since we wiped them in this side, they all swap to this one. Which... I think they've swapped again. Because my entire team is here now. So we will go back to the other side. Watch the top, watch my radar. Pick up the orb for the extra health. Top left. Did manage to get up. Nice. Alright, well, that I believe is the match. Assuming that the enemies jump right at my team in the front here. Honestly, that was a very good showing of the Adhortative and the Warden's Law, but Warden's Law is getting its own thing, so keep an eye out for that one. Kill-wise, 27. Honestly, 27 for a slick draw weapon is pretty good. Especially one that can proc Radiant and give you free two-taps like this. Just saying.